The Boomer, hi. First things first, having Jimmy dressed as a shop attendant explain what POV means, it's point of view. Like, you're the camera, okay? The phrase, back in my day, being retired, spending Gen X's inheritance, explaining that the only reason you smoked when you were younger is because doctors said it was okay, grey hair, a caravan, a weekend trip in the caravan that turns into a month, a pair of glasses from the chemist, glasses perched at the very tip of your nose, mild to moderate disdain of kids riding bikes on the footpath, believing in climate change, oh no, the ability to type with more than one finger, oh no, the ability to handle emotions, oh no, your phone on silent, oh no, student debt, oh no, being supervised when you you're a child, oh no. Reminding every single person ever in every single conversation ever that interest rates were 18 per f cent when you bought a house. <coughs> Phrase, would you be a doll? Giving unwanted parenting advice. Your kid's not taking your parenting advice. After your kid's not taking your parenting advice, saying, well, you're still alive, aren't you? Talking on speakerphone in public. The inability to open a PDF. Not wanting to tell anyone you qualify for a senior's discount, but secretly loving a senior's discount. A trip to the buffet. Listening to AM radio. Listening to the footy on the radio. Still having a landline. Giving up on technology. Calling a millennial for tech support. Off on a cruise. The belief that moving your tongue around will help you operate your phone. A drawer full of takeaway menus from 20 years ago. Owning a house that you bought for 100 grand back in the day and it's now worth two mil. Trip north to the apartment in Noosa. A mild to moderate hatred of all other generations. An eye roll at young people always on their phones. Your phone going off at a funeral. Taking an exorbitant amount of time to find your phone and switch it to silent while it's going off at a funeral. Thumb placed over the camera when FaceTiming. Remembering the good old days. Not remembering a couple of years in the 70s. A TikTok account, oh no. An Instagram account, oh no. A Facebook account, Facebook comments, Facebook rant. The strange ability to organise a catch up with a relative in the comments section on Facebook. Thinking anything on the internet is a scam. The reluctance to give any personal information or credit card information to any website ever on the internet because they might know too much about you. Not knowing how much Facebook actually knows about you. Franking credits. Knowing how many kilometres you're getting to the leader out of your car. The inability to get a meme. Bond singlet. A hanky. Disgusting. Taking a photo with an iPad. A family tree you're working on. A 5,000 piece puzzle. Wondering why no one knows the meaning of hard work these days. A wallet phone case, phone clip to your belt, <sighs> a Land Cruiser Sahara, reminding your kids you got the cane at school. <coughs> Calling the TV remote the clicker, the phrase the music's too loud, the phrase I can't hear the TV, having an old recipe for just about everything, a medicine cabinet that's full to the brim and 90% out of date, smelling everything to see if it's still good. <laughs> Sky News, reading the same newspaper you have your entire life and still believing you have a balanced view, the font size on your phone set to quadruple XL, and last one, superannuation. Okay, see you, Boomer. What do you mean you can't find your car? No, to just go into maps, it drops a pin like where you left your car. It does it automatically. What? Just, oh no, maps, the maps. What? Of course you don't know how to, yes. I can fix it. I'm a millennial, also known as tech support. Give it here. Next! Oh, you work in retail, do you? Great. Okay. This should be fun.